Hi everyone, this is Yuri. First of all, let me apologize for the last video, where I used not my own voice to some reason. Second, I wanted to let you know that my site www.phototopaint.com has been restored and it's up and running right now with all my tutorials on it. But in this video, I'm gonna continue to talk about photo painting techniques and the tools which I use for these techniques. In the last video, I covered auto painting tools like filters, plugins, and standalone applications. This time I will cover the cloning or tracing techniques. So, as someone said, without further ado, let's get started. Let's move to practice and have a look at apps and the programs which support tracing. There are tracing tools both for mobile devices and computers. As for mobile devices, I prefer using iPad because of screen size, because it's more comfortable to draw on bigger screens, then there are some more apps developed for Apple devices, and thirdly, I love how Apple Pencil interacts with iPad for painting purposes. So let me show you first what apps I use on iPad for tracing method. My favorite tracing app so far is iArtBook. I have full course on using iArtBook on my photo to paint web website. Here I will briefly go through how tracing works on iArtBook. First, let's discuss the tracing or cloning technique. Both words are actually correct, for, but for simplicity, let me call it tracing. The way I understand tracing is that you've got an image on one layer in one of your apps which can support tracing. You add an empty layer on top of the image layer you pick up a brush and start painting on empty layer. When you draw, the program or application picks up colors and shapes from the original image below, converts it to brush strokes, and places artistic interpretation of this image on a new layer. That's how I can explain the tracing process in simple words and my poor English. Tracing is probably my favorite technique because I have more control over the photo painting process and I feel myself more as an artist and the whole process is more creative and less robotic. My art book is a number one choice for me for photo tracing techniques. When I open my art book I have three options, three modes, painting, animation and tracing. Of course I use tracing. And here is the photo which I already uploaded to the tracing tab. Let's see how it works. So right now if we go to layers, we can see that in the layers we have the image itself, the original image. And it has 30% opacity, so we don't see it fully right now. And we have a background which is basically the white background and the empty layer. On the top and we're gonna paint on the empty layer with the brushes with these brushes let me choose this one I have the, all these brushes I have pre-made or actually we I've changed altered in this program so they work uh, more interesting much better than the default brushes I have uh, uh, the whole technique and the whole set of brushes for download on my photo to paint website. So I'm gonna use this one oil line brush and we can change the uh, the size of the brush. So to make first to make the kind of wide the background brush strokes and definitely we're gonna paint on the upper layer, on the empty layer. You see how it picks up the colors and the shapes of the image 
and paints on the new layer with the brush strokes. It transforms the pixels of the photograph into the brush strokes. We can change the brush and for example this one see we have red, rose, green colors the brown we can have kind of background if we decrease the size of the brush we can do a smaller strokes a more detailed strokes and the shapes so basically that's what I wanted to, to show you how it works with the layers we have if we uh, hide the original image layer we can see now that the our new painting on the white canvas okay right uh, let's go back and uh, to other applications the next one which I really like is uh, Artset 4 basically it's the same uh, technique same method and when we have the original image on the first layer and we decrease the opacity of this layer so we can see the image through this layer and have it as a reference so we know where we can paint then we select the brush let me choose uh, this one and I switch on the tracing option here on the picker and when I hold on uh, let's see uh, because I was painting on the <laughs> image itself let's paint on the new layer and you see that now we can paint with the color of the underlying image like here we have the dark colors here we have a bluish colors and we also can follow the shape of the image itself and it will correctly use and mix the underlying colors and the shapes again we can change the size of the brush to have it larger or smaller larger for backgrounds again it goes with the underlying colors and then we can decrease the size and work with the details of the image we can add whatever number of uh, the layers, layers which we need just give it the plus and uh, that's how it works in our set 4 again there are plenty of brushes here and they're really great I love them all and uh, they are, they work perfectly for uh, the tracing technique right let's go back and uh, let's see the next one which I also like very much is Artrage Artrage for iPad is uh, Artrage Vitae but it's almost similar uh, as Artrage on the computers but uh, Artrage on iPad it's in more interesting for me because I can paint with a 
you know, with a brush, uh, with a pencil, and uh, the only I think the only difference with the computer Artrage computer is that you can make the size of the brush in Artrage on the computers larger than on the iPad version. Here I also have uh, a photograph uploaded into Artrage, and you can see that it's the tool is actually called tracing here. You can change the opacity. I usually uh, make it between 10 and uh, 13, so we can see the uh, popping up image uh, for, as a reference. And also you can see here that it's using auto trace color, which actually would tell, which tells you that it uses a tracing algorithm. So we can see on the layers, I already did some painting here. So I will add a new layer and I will use this brush. And this is, I think, the 100% maximum size, but to me it's not as large as I would want to comparing to the uh, computer version of Artrage. But anyway, the harder you press on the screen, the larger the brush you make, the lighter you press, the smaller the brush you have. But it also makes a really nice brush strokes with this application. So you can see that I am picking up the green, the leaves and the rose, the red for the rose and it follows my intention to paint this subject and the vase. It's a little bit greenish. And this background, yeah, I can turn the opacity down and see the actual painting. And I continue, can continue actually with this painting, I can add the layer and paint on the new layer. All the possibilities here. There are other brushes. I think this one is a watercolor brush, right? And we have this one, the roller brush is also good. It provides a kind of flat, very interesting flat brushes, flat brush strokes. So I think you've got the idea how it works. Layers, tracing, everything is here. Next, next one is Paint Can by Adobe actually. This is a free application for iPad and I think for Android tablet. This app also works the way that there is an image is uh, on underlying layer and uh, you can hide this layer. So you have the white canvas or you can show it for your reference. And there are presets. can hide the uh, underlying image just to see you can add details you can add some you know the brush strokes So you can do a lot of things with this app. Really nice one. I have uh, a full tutorial on using this app with my settings because uh, I use my manual settings for painting in this app. For example, 
I make a pass it to 100% and size like this and use this brush to make some painterly um, strokes, abstract strokes to begin with. Then I add another version of of the brush and get some details out of the painting. Something like this. Once again I have a full tutorial on using this really good, really interesting app and uh, a lot of examples how, what kind of images you can get, what kind of artwork you can get out of that. But look at these brush strokes, they are wonderful, really, really good indeed. Next are two very interesting apps, uh, Metabrush and iColorama. The difference between them is uh, uh, iColorama is more robust and it has a lot of different fun functionalities like brushes, styles, colors, different adjustments, etc. You can do anything with iColorama. It's like a hub, a painting and uh, editing, photo editing, art editing. Metabrush is more an app as just for painting with brushes uh, using this tracing technique and let's start with meta brush first this is the image uh, it is placed on one layer on the original layer and we can add a new layer empty layer and I would fill it with the color and decrease this layer so we can see underlying image for tracing and for reference purposes and then we just go and select actually we select a tool first and for the beginning I'm gonna select the ground tool and what kind of brushes these kind of brushes and make it a little bit smaller and start painting with this brush on top of the image and if we go to layers that's how the it looks like so we can paint further on And we can select another tool like limited and make it a little bit more abstract so we can go back again to tools ground because ground is providing a more detailed decrease the size and paint on the subjects which you want to reveal okay that's how the meta brush basically works let's close it and go to iColorama in uh, iColorama the image tracing we can do in the brush mode. There are different brushes like Rebound, Bristol, Grace, Clone, Tools, etc. And we usually make painting in the Rebound brushes. 
So initially we see the white canvas because it's a canvas and the image itself is beyond this canvas. So if we drag the opacity down, we can see the image and uh, vice versa. Opacity up, no image, just the canvas. So we can leave it like this just for the reference point. And we bound brush, we select the brush itself like this and start painting uh, the size, right? We can change the brush and use like this one. So it works the same way, tracing. If we change the different settings, we can achieve different result of the brush. Again, I have the whole tutorial on using different brushes and uh, different settings to achieve beautiful result. What is good about iColorama that uh, it makes not only brushing, but also we can apply some effects here uh, the same application like sharpen or we can raise just for uh, raising up the brush strokes and we can change the uh, color of the image and we can add texture And so on. Once again, I have a big tutorial, a big course on iColorama using all these tools inside one application at my phototopaint.com website. That was iColorama. Next one is the smaller ones, the smaller applications like uh, Wizard Paint, for example. Wizard Paint is small but really interesting app. Basically, it works the same way. We have a canvas on top and we can see the underlying image here, just for the reference. And we have some presets to paint on. First, uh, we do the large strokes as usual. For example, I use this preset and make these strokes or the strokes yeah this one then I add some medium and some smaller strokes for details. This is Wizard. Uh, it's pretty a small and simple application, but it can make really nice, really nice uh, brush strokes and canvas, so. Right. What is next? Uh, Photo Viva, also small one. I have, for example, an image here. Yeah, I'm gonna change the canvas to white, and it paints automatically on the uh, white canvas, following the uh, shapes of the underlying image. I paint the large strokes. Uh, to start with, I can change, I can add some extra uh, brushes, extra patterns into it. And then I can add 
I can reveal the details of the object itself. So we can make really interesting painting. That was for the viewer. And another app is Oil Painter. This one. I already have an image in place. I just select the brush and start to paint with the larger brushes. Same way it picks up the colors underneath from the original image and places it on top layer. Change the brush, decrease the size so we could work on the details like eyes. exercise on the detailed painting like this define the ears the shapes yeah. something like that and this is the oil painter application. And now let's move using tracing techniques from iPad to computers. And first, of course, that's Photoshop. Photoshop uh, is widely used and there is a tracing capability in Photoshop as well, which is the art history brush. Of course, on the computers, you usually work with the mouse and it's not that convenient, but many of digital artists have Wacom tablets with a pen and some computers have touch screens like this one. I have Microsoft Book. The native pencil for Microsoft works pretty well for me. Now let me show you how the art history brush works for tracing in Photoshop. I have a picture already uploaded and art history brush tool is here and I have different brushes here I have my own brushes which I'm gonna use for the art history all I need is just to add a new layer and I can even uncheck the background layer and paint on the top layer I'm gonna choose whatever brush Increase the size. Let's see this one. And you can see that it paints on this upper layer on top of the image. I can use some smaller brushes, the larger brushes. Usually what I do, I I place the larger strokes as a background. Let me find some larger strokes.
then I can add another layer and add some more details on the upper layer some medium details first that's how I do the tracing And on the next layer, let me find some tiny brush for details. Yeah, this one. This is just an example. Uh, I can make it better, maybe. But uh, this is just to show you how the tracing works in Photoshop with artist history brushes. I think this tool is worth working on and uh, I believe I will do another tutorial on art history brushes and how to work with them in Photoshop to trace the image, the photographs. I will probably create a set of my own brushes for different styles and will share this in my photo to paint tutorials website as well. So that was Photoshop and Art History Brush. The other popular program for digital artists is Corel Painter. This program is very good, has very good brush engine and uh, very nice brushes. I have uh, Corel Painter 2021 which is not the most recent one, but uh, it fits all my needs uh, regarding the uh, tracing technique. Let me show you how it works here. Let me select this image. I can go to File menu and select Quick Clone. So we have the original image on the on one layer, background layer, and we have the tracing paper on top on which we're gonna paint and the opacity of tracing paper we can tool it back and forth here so we can see the uh, image as a reference or we can hide it then there is a library of brushes in, Cor in Corel Painter and there is a specific subfolder which is called cloners where we can use are the cloner brushes or tracing brushes but actually any of Corel Painter brush can work as a cloner brush but the, for the test purposes let me use the default cloner brush this brush looks like a bit impressionistic and kind of pointicism brush let me try to paint the background Let's toggle the tracing paper to see what we've painted so far. Then we can use any of uh, like some soft brushes to reveal details. Soft cloner. Or we can use, let me see, the, like impasto texture in both to reveal the details here. We can use any other brush.
and produce kind of impressionistic for the painting effect. So this is a very basic, very rough painting and it also works with the layers. Oh, so here are the layers. We can add a new layer and actually paint on this uh, new layer with no problem with any of the brush. So this way we can have some undestructive for the painting in Corel Painter tracing or cloning I made some own brushes in Corel Painter just for the cloning purposes because I was uh, thinking about uh, a new tutorial for the users of Corel Painter or a painting with a tracing tool with a cloning tool uh, I will definitely do this tutorial and uh, will post it on my photo to paint website. The next uh, painting or photo painting program I use on my computer is ArtRage. This is similar to the ArtRage app for iPad, but there are some differences in UI of ArtRage on the computers and also ArtRage on the computers has a bit wider or larger brushes which can work on this uh, on this application but this is the UI of ArtRage and as usual we can load the tracing image let me take this image of a gondola man so we have here the same way as in Corel Painter or Photoshop we have one layer with uh, the original image and the opacity we can turn on and or off to see image or just to hide it we need it for the reference when we have layers we can paint on with different brushes and we can add layers and we can delete layers and we have brushes the oil brush is uh, more widely used by myself uh, there is nine nice paint roller brush and watercolor brush here but the oil brush I think I use most of all and there is a paper tool the canvas the canvas settings we can have here the canvas which we want like a coarse canvas for example and there are different canvas presets here art papers canvas paper rough etc there are brush presets here. Let me first pick up the thick glow square brush for the background and see the size of the brush is 50. Let's see, it is a bit tiny. We can enlarge it a little bit and paint. And you see that there is using trace color. So when we paint here, see it picks up the underlying colors and shapes and it places it on the new layer. So I can do a little bit of, just for demonstration purpose, I can do the background white stroke painting first, similar way as I did in other apps it's really nice application because the brushes are quite good here and especially I love its capability to do tracing on different layers very rough kind of background sketch with the white brush we 
can toggle the uh, tracing image, tracing paper, so we can see that we are doing an artwork actually. Tracing it back, adding a new layer and choosing the whatever some other brush let's see the let's use the dry clumps as an example and we can actually enlarge the image and we can decrease the brush size and do some medium size paintings. Or use another brush, normal round, for example. and do the painting. Following the shapes of the image. I have the entire tutorial on using ArtRage, but for the iPad, because I've been using the Apple Pencil there, and most people who use iPad have pencils, whatever it's Apple Pencil or other pencils, which is convenient to paint with, rather than doing that on the computer. And I think on iPad I can do even better kind of details. Uh, so you can check my uh, photo to paint website and find there uh, the art rage uh, tutorial so it's quite similar but anyway it's just for the you know to get for you to get the point that you can do with art rage on the computer you can do the tracing techniques and paint from your photos uh, definitely i can do more details here but just for the sake of the time i will leave it for you the next uh, beautiful app for computer uh, for uh, digital painters and for uh, tracing technique is uh, Rebelle. Rebelle, I like Rebelle and especially the uh, the latest update which is uh, Rebelle 6 Pro. It has beautiful brushes and it also has this tracing technique uh, available on uh, Rebelle. So if I open any image, uh, for example this image but we shall use this image as our tracing source and to do so we just go here on the layers and press on T tracing layer so we make this layer as a tracing layer and we it is locked so we don't pay accidentally on this layer then we add a new layer and we go to the original layer and decrease the opacity so we see where we can paint on the new layer let's go back to a new layer so to we paint on new layer and select a brush uh, any of the brush to start with like uh, from this series of oil and acrylic brushes let's just use rough oiled brush and we need to increase I think the size of the brush and, and let's see yeah you see it picks up the colors from the original image the red colors here the the white colors it mixes them up actually pretty nicely 
Here's the orange colors, the white colors, the red colors again. There are so many brushes and really nice brushes here which we can use for this tracing purposes, not only the oil or acrylic brushes, but also the watercolor brushes. But the oil and acrylic are really, really nice. You see? That's when we hide the original image we can see how nicely the painting is going on. And similar to other apps, you can add a new layer and then you can zoom in the image itself and paint the small details with the smaller brush and also kind of tracing it from the original image on a new layer. I haven't done any tutorial on this wonderful app yet because I've been mostly concentrating on the iPad, different iPad apps uh, but I think this one especially, the Rebellion 6, is really worth making uh, a good tutorial and uh, making some uh, presets, my own presets of brushes, which would work great with this technique, uh, this uh, tracing technique. So yeah, again, I'm not going to do the whole uh, painting the whole image, but you've got the idea that this is a very powerful app, Rebellion 6 Pro for uh, computers, both for Mac and for uh, Windows. If you have a pen like a Wacom tablet, you will really enjoy the painting and tracing technique with this app. That was Rebellion 6 Pro. I want to show you two more programs for computers which can also do tracing feature for photo painting. The first one is called PsychoPaint. And you can find this program on their website, psychopaint.com. This is how the website looks. They have online version of the software and standalone versions for Windows PC and Mac. I prefer using standalone version. One of the beauties of PsychoPaint is that this program is absolutely free of charge. Many thanks to the developers who made this program so affordable to public. After downloading and installing PsychoPaint, I have the initial window to upload my own picture or use the one from program sample. I will use my picture. Image size, I usually go to 100 and press on paint. Now we've got the window with the canvas and the image. PsychoPaint has layer system. This is good because we can paint on each layer individually. I can also decrease the opacity of the image, original image, so I could see where to paint. On the left side, we have different brushes and settings. For the sake of this video, I will not go into very details of this program. I'm thinking to make a full course on PsychoPaint with all the brushes and special settings, which I will post on my www.phototopaint.com tutorial site. In this video, I will just quickly show you how I can do photo painting tracing manipulations in PsychoPaint. Now I'm going to select the brush. 
I will use this one, this brush, in the styles. And for underpainting, I will increase the size of the brush to maximum. And I will paint on the first layer, which I would consider as underpainting. So I will paint with loose white strokes to define the underpainting of the artwork. Very quick and very loose. That's how I usually do. First I work on the underpainting, then I add the layer, I will decrease the brush size and do the medium painting on the figures and the objects. Let me hide the underpainting glaze so I could see where to paint and I will paint all these Japanese ladies. Just to define the, the borders of their bodies, the objects like this umbrella. Alright. And the next one goes for new layer, goes for detailed painting, detailed painting on the faces, hands and some tiny objects. I know the brush which can do detailed painting here, it's in this style, is called Stealthy. I will hide the first two layers and I will paint on the faces, on the heads, all these beautiful ladies. You see? Okay. I'm working with my mouse on the computer, on my Mac computer. No pencil, no brush at this point. It's a little bit harder to do, but I think it's okay. Sometimes when you don't have an access to a tablet or a pen or pencil or the computer, you can do it with the mouse. Just train your hand a little bit and it is gonna work quite well for you. Just a little bit of exercise and you will be satisfied. And you will enjoy your painting too. And I'm doing quite quickly, quite loose, just for the sake of the time to show you uh, how it's done in this interesting program. You can be more precise or less precise, it's up to you and up to the idea of what you want to show you in your artwork. Let's get a little bit more details on the eyes, nose, mouth, so these are recognizable. So it's a very quick one, there are plenty of other presets, other brushes here in this program and I definitely want to have a look under the hood of the style settings and uh, see if I can do my own brushes, my own settings and uh, I will explore this and definitely when I do this I will prepare a 
a full tutorial on this beautiful program. Stay tuned and on my channel and and photo to paint com tutorial website. So that was Psycho Paint. The other program for photo tracing technique on a computer which I wanted to mention is called Studio Artists from Synthetic Software. You can find this app on www.synthetic.com. This is the paid uh, program and it costs around 200 bucks, but I think it's really worth its money. It can paint not only on images, but it can paint on videos too. Let me quickly show you how it can paint photos using tracing method. I already uploaded an image uh, into this program and Studio Artist will paint with its uh, artistic presets. It has a huge variety of brushes and presets pre-built in this program and you can also actually build or customize your own presets according to your style and liking. I really love this program and I will look under the hood of uh, Studio Artist and surely will make full tutorial on this wonderful program with my brushes and my settings. Studio Artist can paint automatically or it can paint and it can paint manually. With your mouse or your pencil, you can paint manually. Let me play around with uh, some of the presets and brushes to give you a feeling how the tracing tool works in Studio Artist. So that was something really quick uh, with Studio Artist. These were my personal selection of the tools for photo painting tracing technique, tracing method. If you know any other apps which uh, I missed and which can do photo tracing, please let us know in the comment. So in this video, we just covered the photo tracing photo painting technique. In the next video, let me show you the last technique from my photo painting explorations, which I call smudging. With the smudging brushes in different programs, both on the computer and on the iPad or mobile devices. So stay tuned for the next video.